Ooh, we're live. Amsterdam and what's going to happen in this lesson is I'm going to teach you some cool chords right so actually some campfire chords to this really cool gypsy jazz standard called Paquito okay this is a great tune to add to your repertoire it's really simple or at least the way I teach it hopefully is really simple and you're going to learn some great chords and to this great tune called Paquito right got it right here I'm going to be going through the campfire chords and if you want help with all this Gypsy Jazz stuff, okay, real help, then make sure you go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com, okay? Go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com and there's a whole world which you're going to love, okay? There's a whole experience to help you with your playing, okay? So go to that uh, link in the description of this video, click the link, and there's info there, and uh, I can help you personally with your playing. Welcome, everybody. Jorge, welcome. I saw Jorge in Australia, I think. Uh, Kevin, welcome. You're eating cheese. Great. What else to do? My name's Robin Nolan. I'm going to show you these chords, right, to this tune called Paquito, okay? Because actually, I'm just about to teach a master class, okay? I do a master class every 14 days at the Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club, okay? Where I take a deep dive into a tune, and I'm just about to teach uh, Paquito. See this tune called Paquito? And this is the lesson plan, which I'm just about to do over at the club at 4 p.m., okay? I've got campfire chords, the hip jazzy chords, the melody, it's kind of important. And then I've got these cool intros, number one and number two. And in this lesson, I'm just gonna give you a taste of the campfire chords uh, so you get a taste of this really cool tune. Just to reiterate, if you really want help with this music, then go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. Come and join the club, come and join the community. All right, campfire chords to Paquito. We've got E minor for two bars, okay, see that? E minor for two bars. Then we've got C7 for two bars, okay? So that's, okay, that's what we'll look at first. And when I teach, when we learn uh, tunes at the Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club, I like to start really simple and do this thing called campfire chords. So instead of learning all the cool inversions beginning up the top of the guitar, we kind of go, well, wait a minute, E minor. All right, you probably played that E minor already, okay? So it's got two bars of E minor. Okay, and it kind of sometimes when you forget about, if you forget about the campfire chords, these open chords, it kind of blocks out some nice harmonic possibilities. So E minor, even you've got this E minor nine. It's a really nice, simple chord, so bottom E, right, bottom E, bottom E, second fret on the A string, there's the B, your pinky, this, this finger can take that F sharp, so see that sound, that's E minor, and that's the ninth, okay, but forget about theory, theory's not going to actually help you play this music, so, and then the rest of the strings are open, so, Okay, so that's E minor 9, that's the first chord of this tune called Paquito, and I'm teaching you the campfire chords. Now the cool thing about this tune, it goes from E minor, then it goes to C7, okay, and it moves to C7, see? You've got E minor for two bars, right, and then you go to C7. Andrea says, yeah, I love this tune, me too, it's a great tune. So campfire chords for Paquito, um, E minor two bars, C7 for two bars, A minor seven, B7, back home to E minor, okay? So let's just go through that really simple, which is the way I teach, and the way people actually learn, okay? If you want help with all this stuff, don't hesitate. Go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. 
come and join the community. Right, E minor 9. Okay, forget about the rhythm. Two bars of that, then you've got C7, right? Okay, if we're playing C7, right, you've got it down the, the campfire version, right, down the bottom of the uh, guitar, you've got, right, C7, right, C7. So you've got that nice sound going. So you've got, so you've got, so you've got, so you've got, Right, you got that nice sound. That's what's cool about this tune. To C seven, da 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 da. Right, A minor. Right, you can just play that. I think you know that chord. A minor, B seven. Right, just B seven. Right, and then back to E minor. So campfire chords for Paquito. Two bars of E minor. Two bars of C7, A minor, B7, back home to E minor. Try that E minor 9. If you're not hip to that, that's a nice way of playing E minor. Right, so I'll go over the A section again. E minor. Right, the singing's terrible, but forget about that. A minor. B7, back to E minor, okay? Then again, B7, E minor, simple, C7, right, two bars, A minor, B7, and then back home. Okay, so what we've done there, okay, in a nutshell, what we've done, C7, da A minor 7, B7, back to E minor, okay? B7, and then that happens again, like in most jazz standards, we repeat the A section. E minor, C7, A minor 7, B7, and back to E minor, okay? So that's the A section. And when you're learning a tune, when I learn a tune, and when I teach a tune at the Transfusion Club, we like to learn less tunes, but really own them. Do you know what I mean? So instead of relying on that chart that I showed you, let's listen to it and let's get used to playing these shapes under our fingers so we actually learn it off by heart, right? This isn't rocket science, okay? There's literally four chords there. We just got to put them in the right order, hopefully. And if you play it over a few times, you'll get to know it, right? E minor. We'll get fancy in a minute. We'll go up the neck. Right, C7. B, B, A minor 7 or A minor, B7, B, B, D, right, E minor, B7. So we're just absorbing these chords at the moment. We're actually kind of learning it, digesting it, ingesting it, making it part of us, okay? So when we play this tune, we actually play it convincingly, not trying to remember chords or struggling with some iPad, iReal book or whatever. Forget that. That looks so unhip at jam sessions and at gigs. Forget it, okay? E minor, second chord, C7, A minor, B7, E minor, right? This is just a way of learning it, so later when you play, obviously, right, you're going to get to that stage, but by learning the campfire chords first, that's how I'm going to teach it, the master class soon. By the way, I'm going live at the club at four o'clock Amsterdam time to take a deep dive into Paquito. I'm gonna teach the guys and the girls over at the club everything about that tune. So this is just a little taste, okay? And if you want help with this music, okay, if you wanna enjoy the community, come to Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club Dot com, okay? Don't be shy. Come and say hello and you'll love it. And if you wanna join me at four o'clock, okay, for this masterclass, come over. Uh, people are typing in, hello, my dear friend Robin. Hi, Jose. Hi, Andy. Crispy is the way forward. Word, okay? If you're wondering what the hell's going on here, just to recap, my name's Robin Nolan, okay? I'm a gypsy jazz guitarist and a guy that helps other people, other normal people, learn this music in a fun, easy way. And I'm just showing you some campfire chords for the tune for the really cool gypsy jazz tune written by Paquito Laurier called Paquito, okay? And it sounds 
Do do da da ba do bum C seven ba 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 do dum. Be do be da. It's really fun. So someone goes bo be be do ba. Okay, just to give you an idea. Da ba do da C seven. Da do da ba do ba A minor. <laughs> Can't talk and sing and play at the same time. Okay, I'm not that talented. Okay, so there's the campfire chords, right? Paquito, a great tune to add to your repertoire. It sounds really cool. You've got that E minor, two bars, C7, two bars. That's the whole crux of this tune. It sounds awesome. Then you've got A minor seven, B7, back home to E minor, B7. That's the A section. And when you learn a tune, take it section by bit by bit, right? So now we've kind of memorized that A section. <laughs> You've got to go over and over it. A minor seven. You can start to add other chords, right? Obviously, when you know the basic chord type, you can get E minor nine. You could play that one, or right C seven. Or you could play that's also C seven, right? So, but when you first learn a tune, learn the basic chords. Don't like add loads of extensions on them. Don't get confused by those things. Learn the essence of each chord. E minor, C7, right? That's a nice move. So you could use that as an intro. You could go. Right, so you could go as an intro to Paquito. You could go. Someone's playing that, and the other go, and then it sounds really good as an arrangement, right? Loads of things you can do. Uh, welcome everybody, how are you? How are you doing? It's Robin Nolan, my name, and uh, I'm teaching you a couple of chords for this tune called Paquito, right? It's really groovy. Be the, right, it's really easy. So this is a really great tune to add to your repertoire, okay? Um, it's written by Paqui Dolorier, a fantastic guitarist. And if you need the chords, if, if it helps, ba ba do ba, E minor, da do da, C7, A minor 7, B7, E minor, right? Really easy. Um, if you want help with this gypsy jazz music, right? If you want me to help you learn this music, and join the community, go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com, okay? There's a link in the description of this video. Go there and you can join all the fun, okay? Make some real progress. Um, I'm gonna be teaching, look at all these pieces of paper. I'm gonna be teaching a masterclass at the club like I do every 14 days at four o'clock, okay? Campfire chords, hip jazz chords, the melody, cool intro number one and number two teaching all this at the club soon. So if you want to come and join us, then click the link, gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. Okay, recap. This is tune called Paquito. Right, kind of sounds like that. And I'm just teaching you slowly and nice and easy the chords, right? And right, there's the E minor. You could use that as C7. Right? Right? You could use that for right, loads of options. If you want to learn this really well, come over to the club, okay? I'm teaching a masterclass at four o'clock. Um, apart from that, um, I wish you lots of love from the Nolan household here. And share this video with, this, with a friend. And also, 
Uh, I forgot to say, but usually I say type in where you're watching from. Where are you? Okay. Are you somewhere exotic in the world? <laughs> I'm in Amsterdam in the kitchen, which is pretty exotic. It's quite nice. Um, so type in where you're watching and click the love heart. Okay. If you feel love, click love. If you feel mad, click the angry <laughs> mad button, <laughs> whatever you like. Um, but I'm going to jump off. This was just a real quick little look at the campfire chords for this tune. Paquito. If you want more of this music, if you want to learn in a structured step-by-step -step way uh, to save you time, then come over to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. Bill is in Ireland. That's exotic to me. Okay. Bill's in Ireland. Uh, that's it. I'm going to jump off. Uh, this was just the campfire chords. Okay. For every tune, there's campfire chords. And for Paquito, there's the campfire chords. So uh, see you in the club. Any club members here, Type in what your experience is like at the club, okay? Let everybody know what it's like in the Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club. This is a place to help you with your playing and a place to really enjoy this music with a whole community of other players just like yourself. Enough said. Okay, I'm going to jump off. Uh, I leave you with lots of love and take it easy. Lots of things popping up on my screen, but I'm going to jump off. I'm going over to the club to teach this masterclass, so see you over there, okay? See you later.